What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have a guide that's going to help out a lot of fellow YouTube channels out there. This guide is going to show you guys how to change your YouTube custom URL more than once. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with custom URLs, or maybe you just forgot because it's been a while, it's the custom URL that you get once you hit a certain point. It's either 100, 500, or 1000 subscribers, I don't recall, but once you reach that point, if you go into the advanced setting tab on your YouTube channel, you'll actually be given the option to get a new URL and it has like maybe three or four pre-approved ones for your channel based on your channel name and the new URL will be like youtube.com slash C slash Xbox mod 360 that was mine but that's just an example it'll be slash C slash so the benefit of these URLs is that they're a bit shorter it's slash C slash instead of slash user slash and you could also maybe say if my name was the Xbox mod 360 I got my custom URL to be slash C slash Xbox mod 360 so I was able to drop the the and another cool thing that I noticed about these that I'm showing you guys on the screen once you get one of these custom URLs you can even drop the C and the slash and it will still direct people to your page so my URL was youtube.com slash C slash Xbox mod 360 I can drop the C and the slash now and just do youtube.com slash Xbox mod 360 and it will still direct people to my page. That will only work once you get one of these custom URLs and that's really cool because it's a much easier link for say business cards, t-shirts, just giving out to people and telling them how to find you. So I essentially had three links. I had youtube.com slash user slash the Xbox mod 360. I had youtube.com slash C slash Xbox mod 360 and then I could just drop the C altogether and do just youtube.com slash Xbox mod 360. So that's just kind of a brief example of how the YouTube custom URLs work. Now everywhere on the internet, Google employees, other users will tell you that you can only set that custom C URL once. Once you choose it, it can never be changed. And that is false. And I'm going to show you guys in this video, I have video proof, I did it myself. That is completely false, contrary to what everybody says, you can actually change that C URL. So as time progressed, my channel, I renamed it to XM360 because the name Xbox Mod 360 didn't really represent what I was about anymore. And as you guys can see, I was not able to use the link C slash XM360 because my old custom URL was still in effect and they say now this was very frustrating to me because as you guys can see nobody was actually using that URL it was a completely empty URL nobody was using it and it would make complete sense to give me that URL because it was not being used and my channel name was now XM360 now I do realize that there could be abuse of this for people that constantly change their custom URLs and change their channel names but I wasn't one of those people, I was just somebody like many other YouTubers who evolved over time and I had adopted a new name because I was a new person really, I was not doing the same content that I used to. So right here on this page, this is where you would normally see that little notification of the button that you can click to change your custom URL link and that is once you reach that milestone but like I said I've already reached that milestone and already set my custom URL once so I no longer have that link to click and there's no way for me to change it. So I reached out to YouTube support via email and I explained the issue telling them that I had evolved as a channel and my name was now different. I checked and the YouTube URLs that I was looking to get were not occupied so I explained the situation to them and I got a good response. So the email that I got back said good news for you the URL XM360 has already been reserved for you and the custom URL now only needs to be accepted. So he had basically told me that that URL was already set aside for me. I don't know if he had just set that aside or somehow some automatic system had set that aside for me a while ago, but he told me to go to that settings page that I was just on and just showed you guys and there should be a link somewhere on there that said I could change it again. Now I went to that settings page and there was nothing on there so I emailed him back saying is there something missing here I'm not seeing it and then immediately after that I got an email from Google saying that I now had the option to change my URL again. So the email from Google that I was talking about is right here and the way it's worded, it's worded the way it was sent when I first hit that milestone. It's like they're resetting me kind of. It's worded like I just hit the milestone to unlock custom URLs when that's clearly not the case. I'm at about 25k subscribers so I hit that milestone a while ago. It's almost like they reset my custom URL and sent me a brand new link to set it up for the first time. 
So I clicked that link, I went through with it, and I got the options now to set my custom URL as XM360 instead of Xbox Mod 360. So as you guys can see, this is saying it's going to change my Google Plus custom URL, but if I hit OK at the bottom on the next screen, it's telling me that this will also change my YouTube custom URL. It'll give me a new C slash XM360 URL, which is what I was going for. So I hit OK with that, and I was very pleased with that. I was extremely happy. I did not realize that it could be manually overrided like that, because I had no option to change that on my own. I had to email support, and they were able to give me a link to change my custom URL more than once, which is something that's not really supposed to be done. But I did go up here, and I tried to type that in right away, obviously, because I was very excited to try my new URL. It would be great to give people that new link that's much shorter and easier to remember. So the first thing I obviously did was I went and tried to type in that new URL. I was happy that I was going to be able to share this with people and give them an easier to remember URL and I noticed it wasn't working, neither the C one nor the one without the C. So I didn't panic, I decided to give it 10 or 15 minutes, I figured it probably had to update on their end, and I was correct, after about 10 minutes it did update and I was now able to use these brand new custom URLs. So as you guys can see, I can now type in youtube.com slash c slash xm360 and it will take me right to my channel. I no longer have to give people the Xbox Mod 360 link because that doesn't really represent who I am anymore. And like I said earlier in the video, now that I got a new custom URL, I can now drop the C and the slash and just tell people youtube.com slash xm360 and it will go directly to my channel, which is a really nice link to be able to give people and it's very easy to remember. So I really just wanted to make this guide for you guys and I know this isn't 100% and it won't work for everybody, but I did just want to prove to you guys and show you my method that you guys are able to physically change your custom C slash URL more than once. So don't listen to them when they tell you that you can only change this once and it's permanent. Once you get that C URL, you're stuck with it forever because that's not the case. Google does have the ability to override it and give you a new custom URL. Feel free to cite this video and myself as an example if you're ever arguing with support and saying that it is possible when they're telling you that it's not. But don't try to abuse the system because they definitely won't give in if you're trying to change your custom URL like once every month. So I was very happy with the tech support experience I had with Google here on this one. I really hope some of you who may have evolved as a channel too and may have slightly different names or have changed your channel name, I hope some of you have some success too and I hope this guide really helped you guys out. So if you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing content just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.